guys, I was asked yesterday in direct message how we can predict reversals, how we can see uh, sentimental reversals. So assuming that the sentimental movement is going to be true, which 80% of the time it will be, then we can get an idea about uh, price direction. So uh, there are three ways that we can use the spreadsheet to detect reversal. First of all, you've got like the big picture view and then you've got your daily view. So if this goes against the grain, this could be a reversal. So let's use an example where UJ, they've gone long, 11% since the beginning of the week. However, they're slightly reversing that sentiment, they're shortened. So that might be a reversal for UJ. So you'd have to be careful, see how that's a negative number, this is a positive number. Uh, Euro USD would be a confirmation because it's a negative, negative. They're adding to that bias. However, UJ, uh, there could be like change in their mind about the direction. And if so, then we could see a reversal. So that's example one, using the dashboard. Mm -hmm. Example two, um, bubbles. Uh, so the yen was over here. And let's say Aussie was over here, which we saw. And now what's happened that they swap places Yen has come this way, Oz has come this way. So AJ would be a good uh, reversal. So that's number two. And, uh, you know, that's how you, know, you could detect a reversal. Remember that everything was lined up on the horizontal and it went over here initially and it destroyed a lot of liquidity and it actually probably blew up a lot of accounts as well on that Yen move. And uh, Aussie was over here, but then was completely reversed really hard. So that's a, a reversal indication using the bubbles. And lastly, would be just to use the search tool. And um, you can see your uh, confirmations on the monthly, weekly, daily pivots. So we have an, a reversal on AU on the daily pivot. We're actually bearish on the day, but however, on the month, we're quite strong, quite strong on the week, but today, we're actually quite weak, so that could be a technical reversal. So there are three ways that we can detect reversal using the spreadsheet. Um, assuming that the sentiment is going to be true, which you know most of the time it will be, because the retail guys are normally wrong. Uh, just something that you need to be aware of, though, we have to be careful when we're extreme. We're very, very extreme on a lot of pairs, and uh, we wouldn't necessarily want to trade something that's so extreme because there's no one else left to bully. They're taking their lunch money and they're gonna move on to the next thing. So uh, this one's a bit too extreme. I wouldn't trade AU for that reason. So it's uh, a good example how to detect reversals. And uh, there are many, many other things that you can do as well in the sheet. Uh, quite comprehensive. And uh, so that's that. So uh, I'll wrap up now and I'll be back tomorrow. This is also a good one as well. It tells you uh, short and long volumes. Just, just have a look at this, whether you get a free moment. And this is like an emotional uh, check where you can see if things are aligning. So uh, green, green would make sense. Um, red, red would make sense because they're going long, but price is falling and they're going short and price is rising. So green, green would be okay. Uh, red, red would be okay. Green, red wouldn't be okay because it tells us that they're getting paid. So they're getting paid slightly on AJ, only slightly. And so that this is a good tab as well. So have a look at these tabs and stuff. And um, yeah, you should definitely uh, try and uh, utilize some of this data because it's really powerful. Oh, there was also one last thing actually. It was a sentiment um, heat map. So this is the fourth way that we can detect reversal. So everything is lined up on the horizontal. When something comes this way, it's a sell. And it continues, it's more of a sell over time. However, if it does this, then we're gonna see reversal. So there's four ways we can see detect reversals using the spreadsheet. And this will update every 15 minutes. So if you trade in AU, you maybe wanna keep an eye on the sentiment heat map to see if they're adding or not and that's that so hopefully it's a good video and I'll be back tomorrow but no video tomorrow I think because um, I've done a long week but I'll be back in doing the bulletin and the risk calculation as well 
And so have a good day and don't forget to trade safely. We're not out of the woods yet with the Ukraine-Russia thing, so be careful and I'll speak to you tomorrow.